what is going on everybody what is going on it is your boy darion coming to y'all live with another video it is the spotlight sports talk and the silver and black podcast shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the youtube page if this is your first time ever being at our youtube page i would suggest that you subscribe and hit that bell button and get the latest news in all sports and we are here with another raiders video and in this raiders video we add another tight end to our roster and that is jacksonville jaguars former tight end nick o'leary now the raiders have agreed to terms with the second tight end this week days after their jason witten commitment the raiders are signing nick o'leary according to espn's phil yates the tight end is currently on the roster is darian waller jason witten Derek Carrier, Foster Moreau, and now Nick O'Leary will appear. Carrier's roster spot is in jeopardy. Now, O'Leary spent last season with the Jaguars in the Dolphins, initially in the 2015 fifth round pick. O'Leary spent three seasons with the Buffalo Bills. He topped out with 22 receptions, 322 yards, and two touchdowns. On the, seven, on the 2017 Bills, it spent the 2018 season with Adam Gates and his final Miami Dolphins squad. Now, while O'Leary is not a prolific receiver, he was certainly not to be asked to do much in the Las Vegas Raiders with Waller and Witten Tandem as present. But O'Leary graded as the NFL's best tight end in somewhat obscure, uh, obscure skill last year, but however, he stated as a significant ahead with the closest player in pass protection amongst both tight ends. Now, what I love about this pick of Nick O'Leary, he's very under the radar. I can say that, but knowing that Derek Carrier, that's really going to hurt us more. Knowing that we don't have, we won't have Derek Carrier, Carrier at the time. We might end up releasing him knowing that we signed Nick O'Leary. Nick O'Leary is good in pass protection and good in run blocking. But if you look at the stats that you see, here from the Buffalo Bills and you see what he did with the Miami Dolphins you really can't be mad at what he could do as a receiver the guy could catch the ball with no gloves on whatsoever and I think it was a really tight you know pickup you know because every you know every position needs depth in this um in this free agency so what i have to feel is that the raiders wanted to go out and get depth at the tight end position just in case god forbid something happened to jason Witt. god forbid something happened to darren waller god forbid something happened to uh foster Moreau. we just uh we just don't know we just don't know at all but bring it in a guy like nick o'leary um, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid to me. It's just knowing that Derek Carrier might be in jeopardy of his roster spot, roster spot, because that's like five tight ends that we have in the roster spot. But at the end of the day, y'all, I like the pick. I like the signing. We don't know the actual full details of the signing of this uh, Nick O'Leary signing of the tight end. But let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what y'all think about this signing. Should we get rid of Derek Carrier or they should cut him or everybody should fight for a roster spot going into the, this season with the Las Vegas Raiders? Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's the Spotlight Sports Talk and the Silver and Black Podcast. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.